everyone, welcome to Tonight with Cassidy. Happy New Year. Welcome to our first show of 2019. It is a new year, which no, does not mean you have to be a new you. You could, but it might just mean you want to try some new things, like not drinking, eating healthy, skydiving, or watching more horror movies. If you have somehow stayed off the internet and haven't heard of Bird Box yet, honestly, that's probably great. You're probably better off. But it's a new horror movie just came out on Netflix a few weeks ago. So naturally, when everyone had some extra free time over the holidays, a lot of people were watching it. The basic premise is, and no, this does not give away any spoilers or anything, there's some sort of monster creature thing takes over this town. You can't look at it or you die. So the whole movie, everyone, including the star, of course, Sandra Bullock, is blindfolded and they cannot see. So now, in the real, non-Netflix world, people have started the Bird Box Challenge. Basically, you blindfold yourself for 24 hours, just try to survive, not run into anything. Unsurprisingly, it is not going well for some people, okay? It is just not okay. If we go to the next one here, um, and you keep watching, just a nice little family going for oh, a stroll around the house, and then, yeah, it's not good. Do not do that to yourself or your small children, it's not okay. So it's gotten so out of control that even the official Netflix account had to tweet out saying not to do the bird box challenge. See, boy and girl have one wish for 2019 and it's that you not end up in the hospital due to memes, okay? So here is me, Cassidy Quinn, in real life, telling you to not do the bird box challenge. However, here's also me, Cassidy Quinn, I'm holding a makeshift blindfold in my hand because we are going to do our own Bird Box Challenge here in the studio for most of the first whole segment of the show. Most of it though, because at first we have to, of course, explain what we're doing here. It is January. A lot of people try dry January, AKA not drinking alcohol for the entire month, but there are still plenty of fun things you can drink. So we've been here from Red Star Tavern to show us some zero proof cocktails. How did you guys come up with this idea? Um, I think it's, you know, as bartenders, we have to uh, be able to offer, you know, people who don't drink alcohol something refreshing and and delicious to drink. Um, you know, it's not our job to strong arm people into drinking booze. So yes. <laughs> um, it's always a challenge. And um, I love doing mocktails, honestly. Um, garnish games, always important to me. Ooh, so mm -hmm. uh, yeah, just um, this is actually the mocktail we'll be doing today. Uh, my bar manager, Brandon Lockman, came up with. The original drink is called The Other Side of the Pillow. Um, cucumber vodka, agave, lime, a little oh. shaken dill. Uh -huh. Double strain that out because you don't want the dill in the teeth. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Definitely do not. You want yeah. dry January or not dry January, but you still do not want things in your teeth in January. And so, yeah, I like it because it looks like just a regular cocktail. So if you're yeah. sitting at the bar, no one's going to be like, oh, why aren't you drinking something fun? Whatever. It still looks yeah. like cocktail. Oh, you're good. still enjoying it and you're not just like having a, a soda. Oh yeah, we even have like kids come in and they want to drink like uh, when parents are celebrating and they have a glass of bubbles, we'll throw the ginger ale into a champagne flute. Why not? I love have fun it. with it. Yeah. So you guys have dry cocktails, mocktails all times of year, right? Oh yeah, um, and even like we have a full bar, so we'll talk with the guests, interact with the guests and figure out what's their palate, what they're going for. Um, so sometimes things are just made up on the fly, you know, just like regular cocktails, you know, there's no reason to like exclude the the creativity, the funness that you have with uh, cocktails just because they're so alcohol. Right, yeah, I have done that, like gone into bars before and just not felt like drinking and yeah. then ask the bartender, what's your favorite drink? And then just try to make it without the booze yeah. and it's fun. So we're gonna try to make it, that might be tough for a bartender if you're like trying to get them to go on the fly. For me, it's probably tough to make any of these cocktails, whether they have booze in them or not, but we are going to do our very own little bird box challenge, AKA, be blindfolded. There are no no like sharp objects on this table, right? No knives or anything. Nothing crazy unless you break some glass. Okay, well yeah. I will try not to do that. We have this yeah. nice wooden table in front of us and my uh, yeah hood deco shirt that is now <laughs> a blindfold. So okay, I'm scared. This is terrifying. Yeah. Oh my, yeah, it's very dark. Okay. I can't see anything. Okay. Where do I start? I have no I'm idea. Pass that to you. Okay, that feels like the shaker. Yes, that is the bottom half of a shaker. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Now you want me to jigger these out for you and pass you the jigger. Sure. Does that sound a little easier? That sounds like a great okay. idea. Okay. All right. So I don't want to like waste waste all of your. Yeah. Hold contents. on to that. Okay, we got this. So first we got an ounce and a half mm -hmm. of green tea. Made this okay. tonight. That is fresh. I'm gonna pass that. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, there you go. are. Okay. There you are. Zach, I can so, hear you laughing behind okay, the camera. Yeah. Okay, yep, we're here. You got this. I don't want to spill it. 
Go, yes, okay, speed. Nice job. Speed helps, you just gotta like be bold and be confident just like how you go into okay. 2019. Next round, we got a uh, three quarter ounce of agave ready to go. Oh, coming down. is that it? Oh, nope, yep, oh, it's coming yep, in there. Yep. Now, producer Christian has, I've been just uh, thinking today, maybe I should try dry January. Producer Christian has been saying, do not do that because we may or may not have have a boozy ice cream segment booked for tomorrow. Do you think, what do you think about dry January, Ben? Should I do it? Um, I myself will not be participating. Okay. Um, I will definitely try to find that balance. Yeah. Um, you know, here we go. We got three quarter oh, ounce oh. of lime juice there. Oh, yes. Fresh lime juice. Yup. Okay. Okay. Get some of this here. Yeah, I think probably like if I just did it when I was was not doing this show, it would probably be fairly easy. But we do okay. all kinds of fun things. Got a little bit of dill there. You're gonna throw in the oh, shaker tin. Oh, just yeah. throw yeah. it in there. Throw it in there. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I like it. it. Gets all kinds of textures in here. Right. This is where it could get really interesting because am I actually gonna shake this? That's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm letting yes. You, I'm Director it. Jay in my ear says this yes. This is gonna feel a little weird. Oh god. Okay. Put it already it feels weird. There you go. There you go. What is that? That is just a little sliced cucumber. Oh, it goes in Nothing there. Nothing crazy. It's in there. Yep. It's throw that it feels in. very weird. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're gonna throw a couple ice cubes in there. You wanna do this? Sure. Got Gotta like tongs. scoop. Oh yep. no, oh, tongs. Yep. It's yeah. Get tricky. Wow. This is like if you've seen you Bird one. Box. Is that yep. one? Yep. Have you seen that challenge that people do on YouTube where they try to put lift like cotton balls on their head, but you can't even see them, so they Let's they don't feel like. Let's get a couple more anything. in there. Why more? not? Yeah. Oh God, go where about go? Where's the yep. ice? Did I even get one? Yeah. You got three in there so far. One, one more. more. One oh more. Oh God. These tongs at least are the sharpest okay. things we have. Is that? Now, yeah. do you want to shake okay. this? I think so. I mean, okay. why not? I'm gonna. If we're doing the Bird Box challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Dry January bird box challenge. I'm gonna get it on top of there. Okay. And we're gonna hit that down. Oh god. Now you're gonna flip this over. Uh-huh. We'll do a 180 there. Okay. Get both and hands on the front. Yeah. Yep. Okay, okay. Hit it hard, hit it hard. <laughs> now what was this mocktail called again? Uh, then? The other side of the pillow. The other side of the pillow. Sometimes yeah. it's cold. You know when you sleep in and the pillow gets too hot and you flip it over and it's nice and cool on the face? Exactly. Yeah. Is okay. that shaking enough? That is good. Oh wait, no this way. Yep, you want yep. to do this way? And then... Perfect. Did I, did I spill anything? You know is what? Just, do I trust myself to, to pour into the glass? Are you pouring it? I forgot your Hawthorne oh, strainer, so this is going to get real weird. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. I hear Lisa laughing. Everyone's uh, just laughing at me. No, it's going to be good. It's Where's gonna the be glass? Good. Right the there. Glass? Yep, that's your glass. Oh. One sec. Hold it up just a little bit. Uh huh. You're oh, there's pour your strainer. It through your strainer. Yep. Like through it that way. Perfect. Oh god. Perfect. Just oh, go god. for it. Ah, again, nice. confidence lift up in a little 2019. Bit. Lift That's up a little bit. Oh, 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 oh god. Oh, this is terrifying. Nice job. Did we do it? Oh my gosh. Wow, the world is still here. <laughs> we are alive in 2019, and we. Oh my gosh, it didn't even spill. Okay. No? Okay, one sec. You gotta get your garnish mm. on there. You gotta get your garnish I on there. I didn't taste it yet. Nope, I definitely didn't okay. taste it. Okay. We'll I don't know that, that it's so delicious bit. already. Got a garnish. Oh my gosh. Boom. Cheers. Dry January. You should totally make this at home. This is amazing. Thank and you that's so much, what, Yeah. It's easy to find. You got agave, green tea, lime juice. All easy. I will say this with the agave, um, we do dilute it because it is really thick. So you go equal parts, just agave nectar and hot water. Oh. Easy. That's so yummy. Yeah. It's a little tart. Super, super refreshing. I love it. Cheers. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. And we survived. Okay. So we